Hi, Dr. Stein. Welcome back to the Body Mechanics Series. Today we're going to talk about everybody's favorite thing, sugar, carbohydrates. Sugar not only does it uh, cause a physiological problem, it also causes, it's also caused from a, an emotional, psychological problem. Sugar, what it does is it actually gives you an endorphin release in the brain. And every time we're stressed or you have an issue, you want a little feel-good endorphin release, so we crave sugar when we're stressed. Two, today we're going to talk about the physiological negative effect of sugar. I professionally feel that sugar is more addictive than cocaine, more addictive than cigarettes, uh, alcohol. It's the most addictive substance which causes the most amount of problems. So when you're talking about sugar, what normally happens, we're talking about glucose or carbohydrates. When I talk about carbohydrates for the body mechanics series, we're talking about fruits and vegetables. We're not talking about pasta and rice. We're talking about uh, totally vegetables and fruit. So when you have glucose, what's normal is, is your pancreas, every time you have glucose, the glucose you need, carbohydrate and sugar you need to go into every cell to fuel the cell. So when you consume sugar, what happens is your pancreas will secrete insulin. Insulin goes to the cell. What insulin does, it acts like a doormat to the glucose. So you have all these insulin receptors that go to the cell. The sugar comes along, the sugar knocks on the door, and the doormat says, can I go into the cell? The insulin receptor says, yes, you can go into the cell. You can fuel the cell. This is how the whole sugar thing works. The problem is when you have too much sugar, you don't produce enough insulin. There's not enough doormats to let the sugar stay in. And every time you have this big insulin surge with a lot of sugar, your body decreases testosterone, so it makes it weaker, increases serotonin, which makes it more tired, secretes a neurotransmitter called serotonin. And what it also does is it increases fat retention. This is what we're all listening for. We want to get stronger without retaining fat or lose fat. So the key to this is to consume less sugar into your bloodstream so you don't have those three negative effects. And the key also is, is to stay away from metabolic syndrome. We'll go in detail about what metabolic syndrome is or insulin resistance, but right now we're just going to talk about the sugar getting into the cell and insulin and trying to keep the insulin surges down. That's really, really the ticket. Sugar makes you fat, not fat that makes you fat. Remember, good healthy fat is excellent for you. It will not make you fat. The sugar addiction and the sugar spikes with the insulin surges cause fat retention. The key is we'll also start talking about diabetes 1, diabetes 1.5, diabetes 2, and diabetes 3, and exactly how that interrelates to the sugar. Stay tuned to more Body Mechanics series. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Dr. Robert Stein out.